Legumes such as soya beans, groundnut, and cowpea are among the most important crops in the world. They increase soil fertility by adding ammonia to the soil. They are rich in protein, and therefore provide nutrients for humans and animals. Leguminous plants always need certain bacteria in the soil, called rhizobia, to fix nitrogen from the air. The plants receive fixed nitrogen from the rhizobia for the production of food and forage protein for humans and livestock. To enable us to increase the levels of rhizobia in our soils, there's the need to properly inoculate your seed before planting. Before we teach you the method involved, let us hear from the research officer from Sari to tell us the importance of inoculation. Our soils in this part of the country, northern Ghana, are poor and they are uh, gradually continuing to be poor. And before we get good crop yield, especially the legumes, we need to apply fertilizer or manure to our soil. But these things are expensive and some of them are too bulky. So there is a cheaper way to make our legumes uh, do better, and that is applying inoculants. Now that we've heard why we have to inoculate our legumes before planting, let us go ahead to learn about the various methods involved. First, measure out one kilogram of soybean seed in any appropriate container. But while you don't have a scale, you can measure about half a lonka of soybean seed. Moisten the seed with a small amount of water, then stir it uniformly with any stirrer. Add 5 grams of inoculants. 5 grams of inoculants can be measured with the lid of a mineral water bottle. Some inoculants may come with a whitish sticker material. In this case, you will find a whitish substance in your inoculants pack. Instead of using ordinary water to moisten the seed, use the sticker and water to moisten your seed. Measure out 300 milliliters or a Coke bottle of clean water. Pour the water into a larger bottle, about half a liter, so it's easier to mix the powdered substance. Add the sticker material contained in the inoculant pack, which is the whitish material in the small packet. Mix thoroughly to get an even solution of the sticker material. This solution is called the sticker. Now that your sticker is ready, you can go ahead and moisten your one kilogram seed with a small amount of the sticker. When your inoculants pack is without sticker materials, add about 15 mils of water, which is equivalent to filling the lid of a mineral water bottle three times. Again, stir gently and uniformly until the seeds are fairly and uniformly coated. Spread the seeds on a sheet of a clean material in the shade to dry. Allow them to dry for about 30 to 60 minutes to allow the inoculants to adequately stick to the surface of the seed. Now that you've successfully inoculated your seed, you can go ahead and sow. Rhizobium inoculants are perishable and quickly lose their effectiveness when exposed to a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius or above. Store your inoculants in the fridge. If you don't have a fridge, you can store your rhizobium inoculants in any cool place within your house. Do not store your inoculants in the freezer or deep freeze. Freezing or exposure to heat will damage your inoculants. If you're not able to use all the inoculants in the pack in one day, make sure you tie the pack very well before storing it. After all these steps are carefully followed, we can be sure we're heading towards a good harvest. But before we take leave of you, let's sum up. Use the correct inoculants for each legume. Check the label for the legume species you're planting. Protect inoculants from heat to keep them alive. 
Keep inoculants in a cool place until you're ready to use them. Use the recommended amount of inoculants. It's best to inoculate seeds just before planting. Do not use inoculants after their expiration date or after they've been exposed to high temperatures. Do not mix inoculated seeds with fertilizer. Use improved seeds for better results. When inoculating your seeds, avoid making them too wet. If it's too wet, the inoculants will not stick well to the seeds. Don't apply any chemical to seeds that you want to inoculate. Do not sow inoculated seeds in dry soil or when the weather is hot. Sow in the morning or late afternoon or when the weather is cool. Proper inoculation will ensure good nodulation. And with good nodulation, the legume can fix its own nitrogen. And when more nitrogen is fixed, the legume yield increases. Following crops or intercrops will also benefit from the fixed nitrogen. Inoculants are much cheaper than nitrogen fertilizers. And all farmers who want to cultivate legumes should endeavor to use inoculants properly for optimum yield.